what does Microsoft have coming to the table? It's just, if you know something that apparently Google does not, I mean, what can I really, what can I really expect from E3 if I can't actually even Google something? So, really, somebody over at Microsoft dropping the ball, man. Bad news, bad. What's poppin' fam, it's your boy Jay Sama, and today I'm coming at you with the video. Ugh. You can tell my level of excitement just by doing that goddamn intro. Oh my god, yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Jay, uh, so check it out. I am gonna level with you guys. I had no idea what I was gonna do for this video, I had no idea what I was gonna say for this video, except for somewhat nice bad things. <laughs> So, uh, with E3 coming up, um, I'm having quite a bit of gaming content come out this week, and maybe just a, a lot of gaming content coming out next week uh, Next week with E3 coming up. I'm still not able to stream on my YouTube channel, so unfortunately, we will not be streaming E3 this year. We will on my Twitch page, and then I'll just make videos out of everything for you guys, you know, the usual live reactions, and then opinions, and then comments, all that good stuff, you know, the stuff I usually make videos on. So, for the gaming culture, my boys, for the culture. So, <laughs> essentially, what I wanted to talk about today is Microsoft. Um, I have been out of the loop as far as Microsoft. I just feel like they just have not been making a whole lot of noise since um, the past like year and a half. I mean, to be honest with you, ever since they canceled Scalebound and like that was just like no longer a thing, it was just like nobody really had their, at least nobody I know, had their eyes on an Xbox. And also the fact that a lot of Xbox games are coming to PC. So, really, somebody over at Microsoft dropping the ball, man. I don't, I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe you guys can tell me. But what I wanted to do, actually, unlike my Sony video yesterday, um, I'm actually going to take the time to pull this up. And we're going to make a new window here. And so this is what I want. I, this is just what I want to look up real quick. Like, I just need to know, perhaps there is a possibility of some sort of, God, that screen is bright, man. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. We're going to Google. The first thing we're going to type up is Microsoft E3, just, just to see what the hype is behind, okay? So we're going to pull up some other stuff. That, uh, that that other people have been talking about. No, I just want to, you know, Crackdown 3, Halo 6. Let's take a look at this. This is a GameSpot article. With E3 2018 right around the corner, we want to continue to format our website so that way Jay Sama can read every fucking thing properly. Halo 6 will be announced. Now, I don't know about this necessarily. I don't know if this is what the world needs. What the fuck? This is why I don't fuck with GameSpot, okay? Cause they just got videos just playing all, like like they just got videos playing in the background. Like this thing was going like, eh, GameSpot, just get your shit together, please. Just for the love of God. Anyway, so I, I don't really know too much going on re regarding Halo. Like honestly, the last Halo I played like for more than an hour is probably Halo 2, maybe Halo 3. Yeah, I think that was the last time I played a Halo game. I mean, I played Halo Reach, some of it, some of the multiplayer. I played Halo 4, some of the multiplayer, but that was about it. I mean, other than that, I, I just don't really know what's going on in the story. I don't know how to convey anything that's going out. So, you know, anyway, let's go back to this article because I'm really just talking out of my ass here because I really don't know anything about Xbox this year. So maybe somebody can inform me because even in this article, they state right here with the cancellation of Scalebound was extremely disappointing for Xbox One owners since it had been toted for a long time as a top tier exclusive. Also, the fact that Platinum Games was working on it made many believe that it would live up to the height given the developer's track record, which are the people who made uh, Bayonetta, the company is uh, vanquished. So the director behind Devil May Cry and Okami was leading the charge too. See, that is crazy. When you have the combination of a hack and slash developer with a hack and slash game director, 
dragons. Like, bam. Like, how do you not? I'm just, I'm just real confused. Like, how did these two things not correlate? They just don't make any sense to me. Like this, this would have been a console seller. Honestly, like this would have been a game that I would have considered purchasing a console for. Now with me, I don't usually like buy consoles specifically for one game. You gotta have like a lineup of like five games that I'm gonna guarantee play and love that aren't cross, cross play. Like they're not, you know, uh, it, basically the same thing can't be on PlayStation. I, for, I, I forget what that's called because it's like three in the morning as I'm recording this video and I'm fucking tired. But uh, anyway, let's see. We also have, uh, let's see, Crackdown 3 will have a Battle Royale-like mode. See, Battle Royale is just real popular right now. I don't, I don't understand this, but I mean, to each their own, I guess. I'm not, I'm not necessarily saying that it's a bad thing. But I, all I'm saying is that we don't necessarily need it right now in the state that we're in. With Battlegrounds and Fortnite kind of going at it. And the, oh, man. Just that's that whole mess. That's just don't even fucking get me started on that. That shit is just crazy. And then the Call of Duty. And then it's just, oh, man. Crackdown doesn't need it. Crackdown doesn't absolutely does not need it any way, shape, or form. It just really doesn't. So I'm more interested to know as far as like some of the hardware changes because last the past two years for microsoft had just been a little bit rough as far as like their actual hardware because you know they while well, a couple years ago they had that drm thing and then they also had the no compatibility like we didn't intend to put backwards compatibility but then they changed their mind on that then the xbox one s you know the scorpio or whatever like all of this stuff kind of leading up to this point i'm a little confused as far as the hardware side of stuff so really it's like how much can can you really show and because I don't know too many of the first party developers outside of 343 and like Bungie but Bungie also does cross oh man see it's just what does Microsoft have coming to the table it's just very very confusing for me so let's let's just take a look at upcoming uh, Xbox one games let's let's just take a look here we're just going to use a generic google search uh that is not all of these things look like they're cross play all of these games are cross play warhammer shadow of the tomb raider uh strange brigade brigade this is probably what is this let's take a look at this yeah it's also going to be on playstation so let's let's the fact that the top games are all going to be cross play games like jurassic park Come a vampire that's on PC. I mean, the crew, Call of Duty, Red Dead, Anthem. So I'm just uh, okay. So let's let's go Xbox One exclusive. Oh, ex exclusive. Come on, your boy. Your boy cannot spell it three o'clock in the morning. Uh, so we got Crackdown, State of Decay, um, uh, Cuphead, which I that that's not. That's not a first party game. <laughs> That's not a first party game at all. Upcoming Xbox One games 2018, the titles to look forward to this year. Spyro, um, that, that's not gonna be a, an exclusive. Um, below, I have, uh, this is gonna be Xbox One and PC, so I don't consider that. Let's see, Crackdown, okay, so we got one. State of Decay, we got two. And you know, Red Dead Redemption, this is obviously going to be on PC and on console then we also got uh metro exodus which actually got delayed um another year anthem which also got delayed and then that's the end of the article so i'm just i'm just a little confused as far as uh so where 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 are the games at so maybe there's something that there's an xbox xbox fanboy out there that can tell me what's going on because i really don't so then we also got sea of thieves and once again crackdown state of decay um, and, and that looks like that is, uh, the last night. Okay. This looks interesting. Uh, it's PC, Xbox one. So I'm getting it on PC. So, uh, deep rock, uh, galactic. I have no idea what that game is, but it's also on PC. So, uh, black desert online, which is already on PC for like years now. Um, so I don't think, uh, we really need that. Uh, the Darwin Project. Oh, this looks kind of cool. I'm not about to watch this trailer, though, because I don't have time. Oh, the Darwin Project is that Battle Royale game in the snow that they showed. Okay, I remember this. I remember this. This this does look kind of cool, but Fortnite's already out, so I, I don't really 
and that is the end of the article so once again another another article where we just can't see um any anything of actual substance so i'm just a little confused if you guys are an xbox fan please just let me let me know what it is that i should be hyped for if you know something that apparently google does not i mean what can i really what can i really expect from e3 if i can't actually even google something you know what i mean like it's, it's just it's just not looking it's just not looking good for microsoft i'm just saying like they really got to come with heavy hitters we're talking old ips new ips they better have like a shit ton of stuff they better figure out a way to get scale bound lit be green lit because that that game needs to happen for this console i don't know how these guys are still floating selling consoles let alone um actually just selling games in general just just oof oof good luck with that guys but let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below i i'm not applicable towards here so i'm just going to be responding to comments so you guys let me know what's going on i you know i'm gonna be clicking lights and like and hearten all your all your comments that you guys leave so uh, speaking of like, make sure to hit the like button on the, today's video if you enjoyed it. Also, if you disliked it, please scroll down to the comment section. Let me know why you disliked it, just so that way I have an idea, you know, as to why. But if you're just being a petty bitch, don't even bother doing it. Just hit the dislike button and keep it pushing. So, <laughs> you might as well not even bother. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. This has been your boy, Just Jay Samo, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure to keep it canon.